Kaziranga trip for long amount of time. Uh, I visited Kaziranga with my family last time, last April to be precise. It was like, but I really missed my camera. So it was always, uh, always I was trying to find company who can arrange trip for me. And I was browsing through Facebook, Instagram. I don't remember, but suddenly uh, Shashank's name popped up. And I went through his website, I went through his Instagram profile and I thought, okay, this guy looks serious, so let me try. I did a bit of research and I think worldwide, uh, rhino population are somewhere around 27,000, which is the whole world, okay. Out of which around 2,700 are in India and within India, they are only in, uh, majorly in Kaziranga. So we are talking about 10% of the world's population of rhinos right here in India, easily accessible for uh, us and uh, me being ignorant, never really bothered about it. So the moment uh, uh, Masai Mara got done, I told uh, Shashang that, uh, yeah, Shashang, I want to see rhinos and a good number of rhinos in the natural, uh, you know, uh, space and that's how uh, uh, Kaziranga happened. different from the other safaris that have been I felt in the beginning like in the first zone that we went that or even in central at some places that it was some more of a you know hybrid between um, Sundarbans and Masai Mara because of the tall grass and then there was there was a sprinkling of trees and then so many water bodies that you as you find in the Sundarbans so that was my first kind of um, we are feeling that this is something like that but as we progressed I found even that that Burapar was amazing it was an awesome jungle I wouldn't mind going there again and again it was absolutely beautiful it was a mix of emotions I mean it was thrilling it was calming it was I mean it was a, it was a lifetime experience I feel like so yeah it was pretty great for me it was very different because earlier like when I was a kid I did go to one another safari with my parents and it was you know just uh, going on the safari and you know going wherever the car is taking us and that sort of a thing. But this experience was very very different from that. Firstly because I think we ended up in a group where you know people were really passionate about animals, the wildlife as well as bird watching. And I honestly was, was not even expecting you know any kind of bird watching. I was just knew okay there is dinosaurs and there is a dinosaur tiger as well. That's all I knew. I really like that you know everyone was you know very willing to help and uh, also engage us. That's sort of an experience. So this was like uh, really uh, brilliant and very different. From it. Pelican swimming and a stalk swallowing a fish. Uh, the Eulog gibbons, the male and the female and the baby. Uh, we also saw Malayan giant squirrel, not once but <laughs> three, four times. The hawk deer and turtles, Assamese roofed turtles, pheasant, uh, swamp tr uh, francolin. One of the interesting things was seeing the horn, uh, the uh, dinosaurs with its calf and uh, that kind of sort of experiences as well. And then there were uh, some interesting sightings of uh, other species as well that we really enjoyed, especially the birds, kingfisher, uh, black neck stalk. Gecko. Uh, gecko was uh, amazing. Uh, the squirrel also. I personally liked it because I got to spot it. it. <laughs> so that was a great experience. And then finally, like we did a lot of looking for the gibbon and finally ending up, you know, just finding uh, the gibbon after some a, a lot of time spent into it. So that was very interesting. I have been watching grey hornbills a lot in Central India. Uh, I always thought that uh, Indian great hornbill would be a great uh, addition to my list. And I planned it once or twice, I couldn't see it. I, I planned Thattekar, I planned Dandeli, I couldn't see it. And uh, to be very frank, I didn't have high hopes in Kaziranga that I'll see it. But 
As soon as we entered the park, we saw the rhino and it was going and suddenly Babu Bhai, our driver, suddenly spotted a great Indian uh, uh, hornbill. And it was like, I was like, I was taken aback. I did not expect it. And it, and it was a pair. It was sitting in direct sunlight and I got some amazing shots. I was out, out of the jeep because it was a main road, you could, uh, you could stand out, right? Uh, before even thinking, I just, you know, looked back and told, uh, please Shashank, just let's go, let's go. And uh, I, you know, I just started running. I didn't even uh, think about getting back into the car. I just started running towards that spot. Uh, so that was a very uh, instant uh, thought, you know, that I don't really want to miss it either for me nor for everybody else because if nothing else, you know, let me at least confirm whether there is a given. So I just started running and these guys are probably laughing at me, I don't know. But I, I totally ran like at uh, probably the fastest that I've run uh, ever. But yeah, I felt like Usain Bolt at that moment. <laughs>
safari tours and expeditions uh, please do connect with us on the platforms mentioned below and if you'd like to know more on india's wildlife and our protected areas please do subscribe to our channel thank you for joining us see you next time